वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू दी बाईजूज एग्जाम प्रैप द मोस्ट कॉम्प्रेंसिव ऐप फॉर ऑल एग्जाम्स लेट मी नो दैट साउंड क्वालिटी पिक्चर क्वालिटी एवरी थिंग इज फाइन यस प्लीज नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज वॉट डायोड सर्किट्स ओके एंड इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस बेसिक्स ऑफ द डायोड विद इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूमेरिकल्स एंड दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम्स स्पेशली फॉर गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर ओके गाइज एंड वी आर गोइंग टू गेट द कमांड ओवर दिस टॉपिक बाय सिंपली सॉल्विंग नंबर ऑफ कॉन्सेप्चुअल क्वेश्चन ओके लेट मी नो दैट साउंड क्वालिटी पिक्चर क्वालिटी एवरीथिंग इज फाइन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यस प्लीज गिव मी वन मिनट Yes, please. Okay, then. I think everything is fine now. Right. So this is a diode circuit analog. Basics of the diode, right? And it is a gate rankers monsoon series. It is a free course. Okay. And uh, uh, in this series, I will cover the complete concept of what diode. Okay, concept. Uh, Mona Lisa, thank you, Monica. Sorry. Now we will discuss what is diode, what is forward bias, reverse bias, with questions, right? And how to solve the numericals in competitive exams with numericals. Okay. Then this is the basics of the diode, and that is my introduction. Myself, Sanjay Rathi. i'm having around 21 plus years of teaching experience in the field of competitive exams and i have qualified and selected for engineering services exams these are my ranks air 16 in esc 2005 and air 21 in esc 2008 that is engineering services exam conducted by upsc and i have mentored more than 1 lakh students for these competitive exams these are my subjects network digital control edc analog now uh if you want to get the command over transients right for hpcl exam or other competitive exams that is especially for hpcl exam 2022 for electrical instrumentation network theory transient and steady state analysis today itself at 11 am just after the class 11 a.m. It is a one-hour class, 11 to 12. Here we are going to discuss transients, right? So uh, what about the DC transient, first order, second order circuit, and uh, what is the difference between transient and steady state analysis? How to calculate the time constant? Each and everything we are going to discuss at 11 to 12. Okay, so please note this time. on the same channel and that's why like the session share the link of this session and subscribe our channel okay now my dear friends a uh, first of all a very very simple question with this question you are going to get the idea about the diode this diode is visible to you okay this is the diode r1 r2 and rl this is a 3 kilo ohm resistor 1 kilo 6 uh, kilo ohm resistor 1 kilo ohm resistor and 36 volt battery is connected here and it is a msq right msq means multiple select questions multiple correct options to so by this by solving this question you you are going to get the idea about the diode ideal diode read question carefully which of the following options is are true for the given circuit it is ideal or practical maine kaha ideal but what is written here assume the diode voltage is what 0.7 volt right so first of all we will consider the ideal diode then what practical diode and we we are trying to solve this question to so everyone use your notebook copy and calculator and give me the answer which answers are correct more than one answer is correct right that is the msq load voltage load current load voltage means what is the voltage across this load rl load current means what is the 
करंट थ्रू दिस आर एल द डायोड पावर मीन्स वॉट इज द पावर डिसिपेशन अक्रॉस द डायोड पावर डिसिपेशन अक्रॉस द डायोड यस दीपा कुमारी इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन द प्रैक्टिकल डायोड नाउ राइट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑलवेज रिमेंबर लेट दैट इज द डायोड राइट लेट इफ सपोज आई एम एज्यूमिंग इट इज अ आइडियल डायोड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आइडियल दैन प्रैक्टिकल आई विल गिव यू द आइडिया आइडियल डायोड and everyone you if you have the idea then give me the answer by considering it practical diode try to solve this question and give me the answer in comments box very very important question this is the simple diode r2 rl okay then then first of all if i am assuming the ideal diode always remember this is called positive lead and this is the negative if the positive terminal voltage is greater than the negative terminal voltage we can say the diode is forward biased forward biased and if the vp is less than vn negative then we can say that diode is what reverse bias and second thing when the diode is forward biased this current is positive i is greater than or equal to 0 but if the diode is reverse bias this current is what zero there will be no current or exactly when we are assuming the diode is forward bias and then finally we have to check the diode the current through the diode it should be from p to n side if we are going to get the negative current means that diode is reverse bias because negative current current from n to p side is not possible so remember this current from n to p side is not possible this is the wrong value it is zero or greater than zero that these are the two options okay forward bias reverse bias so very basic thing but remember that this is the 36 volt and because of this 36 volt and always remember when we are solving the question when we are solving the question always find if that is the method no doubt this question is very very easy but always find let the diode is reverse bias you can start with this let the diode is reverse bias this is a general practice if we are assuming the diode is reverse bias this means it will act as open circuit when it will act as open circuit this is a common ground this is the 36 volt battery one resistor connected here and one resistor connected here right and this is a 3 kilo ohm resistor this is the 6 kilo ohm resistor and this is the 36 volt so according to voltage divide rule first of all find the voltage across this 3 kilo ohm resistor vx let like this is the vx it is a general practice so when i am finding the vx is equal to 3 divided by 6 plus 3 it is called voltage division rule into 36 you are going to get the 12 volt this is the 9 36 divided by 9 that is the 4 and into 3 that is the 12 volt right now tell me this 12 volt this 12 volt is sufficient to make this diode forward bias so sometimes when we are calculating the voltage if it is uh, less than the positive value or required value then may the diode may be the reverse bias but in this case this 12 volt is sufficient to make the diode reverse sorry forward biased because we are this this circuit is act as what open circuit that the diode is open circuit so what will be the current across the rl zero then this complete 12 volt will come across the diode 12 volt here it is 0 volt because there is no current and that's why we can say that diode is forward bias and this assumption is wrong diode is forward biased okay once the diode is forward bias it will become very very easy for you if you are going to solve the ideal condition the diode act as what short circuit diode will act as short circuit and this is the rl 
this is the R2, this is the R1, this is the 36 volt. This value is given as 1 kilo. This value is given as 3 kilo ohm. This is given as 6 kilo ohm. Now that is the simple question of what network or circuit theory. And you have to find the voltage across the RL. This is called. And you have to find the voltage across a current through the RL. And what is the power dissipation across the diode? My dear, when I am assuming the ideal diode, so what is the drop across the diode? For ideal diode, the drop across the diode is zero because it acts as short circuit. So always remember when it is the ideal diode, what will be the power dissipation across the diode? Power dissipation across the diode is given by voltage across the diode plus into current through the diode. It will be zero watt. And that's why this question, in this question, practical diode is given. If you want to calculate the power dissipation, then we have to consider what practical diode. Otherwise, for ideal diode, always remember, the power dissipation will be zero. Power dissipation will be zero. Second thing, once it is over, you have to choose. Okay. Now simple method, you have to choose the method, which method is suitable. So this is the let the output voltage, output voltage means voltage across the RL. We have to calculate, apply the KCL, V0 minus 36, this is called KCL upon 6 plus V0 minus 0, this is the reference, V0 minus 0 by 3 plus V0 by RL. So what is the V0 by RL? This is nothing but 1 kilo ohm. That is equal to 0. You can take 6 as a LCM. It will become V0 minus 36 plus 2 V0 plus 6 V0 is equal to 0. This 6 will become 0. 6 plus 2 plus that is the 9 V0 minus 36 is equal to 0. So what is the V0 is equal to 36 by 9 that is the 4 volt. That is the 4 volt under ideal condition. And my dear friends under practical condition definitely the drop will be less than that value 4 volt. So you are, you are going to get the idea. Once it is a 4 volt, what is the current through the RL? It is very easy. Current through the RL will become V0 by RL. 4 divided by 1, that is the 4 milli ampere. Always remember basic thing that voltage, voltage is what? In volt. Current, ah, sorry, register in milli, a kilo ampere. If that battery is given in volt and if register is given in kilo then current will be in milli ampere remember this is the milli ampere that is the ideal condition 4 volt now if the diode is practical means what is the drop across the diode 0.7 volt if the drop across the diode is 0.7 volt, so some students will simply subtract the 0.7 from the 4. 4 minus 0.7, that will become what? 3.3. No, that is not the right approach. Suppose uh, if the diode is ideal, then it will act as short circuit. If the diode is practical, the student will consider it what? Let the drop is what? 0.7. In hurry, we are going to make the mistake. This is the 6 kilo ohm. This is 3 kilo ohm. Now this is the diode. What is the drop across the diode? 0.7 volt. Already we have calculated the Vx that is the 4 volt. And subtract 0.7 and you are going to get the voltage across the RL is equal to 3.3 volt. But this approach is wrong. This approach is wrong. When we are considering the practical diode, then Again, we have to solve this particular question. How we are going to solve this particular question? Remember, let this diode is practical diode and the diode is forward bias. What is the drop across the diode? 0.7 volt. And let this is the Vx. And you have to find the voltage across the RL. Then it is converted into a battery. 
then the diode is converted into a battery this is the 36 volt let this is a battery and this is the RL simply replace by 0.7 volt this is the 3 kilo ohm 6 kilo ohm and 36 volt and you have to calculate the V naught now uh, watch this question carefully now it is a question of what network simple network once the diode is forward bias it is converted into a question of network circuit theory now you if you want to find the V naught what are the method first of all find the Vx apply the KCL Vx minus 36 divided by 6 plus Vx by 3 Vx minus 0 by 3 plus Vx always remember we can change the position of this to register and uh, battery that's why it will become Vx minus 0 0.7 divided by what RL what is the value of the RL 1 kilo I am considering this complete branch up to ground so it will become Vx minus 0 0.7 divided by what RL that will be the current through this branch and that current is nothing but IL so when we are applying the KCL I1 plus I2 plus IL is equal to what? 0. So that is the KCL. I1 plus I2 plus IL is equal to what? 0. Sum of the outgoing current is equal to 0. Okay. Then take LCM again. Already we have solved this. 6. This will become Vx minus 36 plus 2Vx plus Vx minus 0 0.7 sorry this is multiplied with the 6 4.2 volt and that is equal to 0 this will become 0 9 vx is equal to 36 minus 4.2 volt this is multiplied with what remember that this is multiplied with the 6 this is okay this is also multiplied with the 6 this is multiplied with the 6 vx minus 4.2 volt and that is that is the 2 plus 6 8 plus 1 9 and now you can calculate the value of the vx vx will become subtract this 36 uh, 36 minus 4.2 and then calculate the value now right i am just calculating 31.8 Give me the answer. What is the answer for this question? What is the Vx? 31.8 divided by 9. Are you getting the 3.77? Yes, please use your calculator. Virtual calculator. 31.8 divided by 9. And you are going to get the 3.533. Okay. Okay, what is the drop across the diode? 0 0.7 volt. Okay, and that is the simple question. And check my calculation also. So this type of questions, we are simple solution. Simple solution, right? Vx minus 36. Okay, that 36 volt of battery is given here. Plus simple apply the uh, KCL here, and then this is become six. And now, okay, so three point five three three. That is the answer. Okay. That is clear. How to calculate the voltage. Now, this is the value of Vx actually. That is the value of what? Vx. But we have to calculate the value of the voltage across the RL. If you want to calculate the value of the voltage across the RL, my dear friend, we have to subtract 0.7 from this. When I am subtracting 0.7, then 
देन वॉट इज द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस द डायोड और आ रहे आउटपुट वोल्टेज आउटपुट वोल्टेज इज गिवन बाई वी एक्स माइनस ड्रॉप अक्रॉस द डायोड दिस इज द वैल्यू थ्री पॉइंट फाइव थ्री थ्री माइनस जीरो पॉइंट सेवन एंड इट विल गिव यू द वैल्यू ऑफ एग्जैक्टली वी नॉट तो वॉट इज द वैल्यू टू पॉइंट एट थ्री थ्री ओके गाइज वेरी सिंपल कैलकुलेशन चेक माई कैलकुलेशन दैट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट हियर तो वॉट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट हियर इफ इट इज अ प्रैक्टिकल डायोड रिप्लेस इट बाई वॉट पॉइंट सेवन वोल्ट सिंपल अप्लाई द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द नेटवर्क अप्लाई द के सी एल फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ द वी एक्स वंस यू आर गोइंग टू गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ द वी एक्स दैट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द वी एक्स आई एम सिंपली सॉल्विंग इट राइट दैट इज द थर्टी ओ दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम सॉरी दिस इज द थर्टी सिक्स माइनस फोर पॉइंट टू वी हैव टू एड दिस टू बिकॉज इट इज माइनस इट इज माइनस वी हैव टू एड दिस टू दैट इज कॉल्ड सिंपल कैलकुलेशन मिस्टेक ओके नो प्रॉब्लम यू आर नॉट गिविंग द आंसर यू आर नॉट सॉल्विंग इट यूर इफ दैट इज द कैलकुलेशन इज योर पार्ट यू आर नॉट डूइंग एनी कैलकुलेशन आई थिंक तो दैट इज गिव मी द आंसर ओके नो प्रॉब्लम देन वी एक्स वी एक्स विल बिकम थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट प्लस फोर पॉइंट टू डिवाइडेड बाई नाइन दैट इज द फोर्टी पॉइंट टू डिवाइडेड बाई वॉट नाइन फोर्टी पॉइंट टू डिवाइडेड बाई नाइन एंड दिस इज फोर पॉइंट फोर सिक्स सिक्स नो प्रॉब्लम फोर पॉइंट फोर सिक्स सिक्स सेवन वी कैन से दैट इज द वोल्ट दिस इज द करेक्ट वैल्यू नो वंस वी आर गोइंग टू गेट द वी एक्स अगेन वी हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट वॉट पॉइंट सेवन वोल्ट नो वेन आई एम सब्ट्रैक्टिंग पॉइंट सेवन वोल्ट what will be the answer v not is equal to vx minus 0.7 volt that is equal to to so vx is 4.4667 minus 0.7 now 3.77 volt 3.6 uh सेवन सिक्स या सेवन सेवन वोल्ट वी कैन से दिस इज द आंसर वॉट विल बी द करेंट करेंट थ्रू द लोड करेंट इज नथिंग बट वी नॉट बाई आर आर एल थ्री पॉइंट सेवन सेवन डिवाइडेड बाई वन किलो तो दिस इज नथिंग बट थ्री पॉइंट सेवन सेवन मिली एम पी एल एंड वॉट इज द पावर डिसिपेशन अक्रॉस द डायोड दैट इज आज इन द क्वेश्चन वी डी इन टू आई डी वॉट इज द करेंट थ्रू द डायोड That is the power dissipation. So three question asked here in MSQ. The load voltage is three point seven seven. Yes, that is correct. The load current is three point seven seven milliampere. That is also correct. Now, what is the power dissipation across the diode? The same current will pass through the diode also, and we have the drop across the diode point seven. So, what is the power dissipation across the diode? V D into I D. So Vd is 0.7 into what is the current 3.77 milliampere. If it is in milliampere, then answer will be in what? What? Answer will be in what? Into 0.7 current, and then you are going to get the 2.64 nearly equal to 2.64 milliwatt. That is the answer for this question. Very simple question. Now, my dear friends. Uh, you are uh, uh, you uh, idea about what ideal diodes and idea about what practical diode how to solve the question so i assume reverse bias then solve once you are going to get the voltage more than the required voltage diode is not reverse bias it is forward bias ideal condition short circuit practical condition replace the battery that is what 0.7 volt apply the kcl and you can calculate anything If you have any doubt, then you can ask. Otherwise, next question. Next one. Assuming the diodes are ideal in the figure, the current in D one, diode D one. What is the current? Okay, take your time and try to solve this question and give me the answer in comments box. Very basic question. 
assume the diodes are ideal there are two diodes right this is the 5 volt is connected here this is the d1 and this is the 8 volt is connected here and that is the d2 right what what will be the approach to solve this question right try to understand if in a circuit if we are having the two diodes then how many possibilities if we are having the two diodes d1 and d2 what are the possibilities just like a digital circuit if there are two diodes there will be the four possibilities 2 to the power 2 four possibilities if there are three diodes there will be the eight possibilities and if there are four diodes there will be the 16 possibilities possibilities means what let let just like a digital zero means what off and one means what on so what are the possibilities zero 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 means both the diodes are off zero one one off one on one zero d1 on d2 off and both on so these are the called the four possibilities off 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 on on off third possibility is on off and fourth possibility is both on and similarly if we are having the three diodes then there will be the total eight possibilities right just like a digital you can say 000 000 001 010 011 one zero zero one zero one 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 zero and what one 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 for on zero for off tell me is it possible to check all the possibilities no because we have limited time we can't check all the possibilities like both the diodes are off like this is the on that is the off this is off and that is on we can't check like this then what is the another method with the experience you can say what is the what is actual possible right or if suppose our assumptions is wrong then second possibility so according to the experience first of all always check the highest battery present in the circuit which one is the highest battery 8 volt 8 volt is greater than 5 volt right that is the approach 8 volt is greater than 5 volt so what about this diode this is connected to the negative terminal of the d2 and that's why this diode is off because of 8 volt battery because of 8 volt battery because on the positive side only 5 volt is connected and that is less than the 8 volt so 100 percent sure that the diode d2 is what reverse bias now once it is reverse bias it will act as open circuit now it will remove the 8 volt battery from the circuit because it will act as open circuit now only one battery is present that is the 5 volt and because of this 5 volt the positive terminal we are going to get the positive voltage when I am going to get the positive voltage, this diode is what on. It seems that this diode is on, that diode is what off. So this is which possibility? This third one. Third possibility that diode is on, this diode is off. But this is our assumptions. Sometimes it may wrong. So first of all, try to solve with this light. This is called 5 volt battery. This is 1 kilo ohm resistor. This will act as short circuit because these are the ideal diodes. Yes, given in the question ideal diodes. And this diode will act as open circuit. 8 volt. Okay. Because it will act as short circuit, what will be the voltage at this point? 0. What is the current through the diode D D1? This is the 5 volt. So I can say the current is given by 5 divided by 1, 5 milli ampere. This is the 5 milli ampere is the current. Okay. Sir, so why the D2 is reverse bias? Monica, because of 8 volt battery. Because of 8 volt battery. Try to understand. This is the diode. And what is the battery? 8 volt is connected here. And this is the highest value of the battery that is present in the circuit. 5 volt battery and 8 volt. 5 volt is present on positive side of D2. This is the positive side of D2. This is the 5 volt battery. But here the 8 volt battery is connected. So 8 volt is greater than 5 volt. It, it means Vn2 negative terminal voltage is greater than what positive terminal voltage of the diode D2. 
this is the negative terminal voltage this is the positive terminal voltage and it seems that this is the greater and that's why that diode is what reverse bias okay and now uh, we will verify it we have to verify it how let first of all calculate what is the current 5 milli ampere now what is the drop across this resistor zero so what is the voltage if this is the zero so what is this zero so this is the vp2 zero what is the vn2 8 volt yes vp2 is greater than vn2 second if we are assuming the diode d1 is forward bias then the current through the diode d1 should be positive yes that is the diode D1 and what is the direction of the current downward? What is the current value 5 milli ampere? It is moving from positive to negative side. That's why our assumptions is correct. D1 is odd, D2 is off. So very simple approach. With the experience, directly we are saying that D1 is on, D2 is off. Right? And then we are solving the question. And in first attempt, our assumptions is correct. But it is not possible in all the questions. Sometimes we are assuming that, that the diode D1 is on, but it will be negative. Current is negative. Our assumptions is wrong. Then we have to go for what next condition? Next possibility. Yeah, there are four possibilities. So every time no need to check all the possibility. Use your experience. Use your concept. And then simply we can say let this is off. This is on directly in one attempt. That is correct. What is the current through the diode? 5 milliampere. Okay, I think that question is also clear to you. Okay, then. So that is a very, very simple approach. Okay. Now, if in this question, if in this question, I am simply changing the polarity of the 8 volt, then what will happen? Tell me. In the same question, if I am going to change the polarity of this battery, let this will remain same. This is the diode here and now this is connected like this this is the 8 volt right now what about the diode what about the diode d2 because the again watch the highest battery what is the highest battery here? 8 volt. And because of that 8 volt, this diode, because it is connected to negative terminal and the positive terminal voltage is less. And that's why diode D2 is on. Now, once the diode D2 is on, always remember, what is this battery? 8 volt. What about this resistor? 1 kilo ohm, 1 kilo ohm. So, uh, at this point, let this voltage is Vx. Because of this 5 volt, it has some positive content, but because of this 8 volt, that polarity is reverse, and that's why it seems that it may be negative. If it is negative, this voltage is zero. So what about the D1? Let the D1 is what off. Again, experience. Again, use the concept of what network. When I'm using the concept of network, because of this 5 volt battery, the voltage at this point will be positive. Because of this 8 volt, because the polarity is reverse, value is negative, and 8 volt is greater than 5 volt, it may be negative. And that's why let this diode is what? Open circuit. Okay, off. Three second or third semester are able to apply for the no, no, I think you are not eligible. Okay, you are eligible for gate exam. Okay. Now, if it is off, yes very simple 5 volt battery make it open circuit this will act as short circuit this is the minus 8 volt okay 1 kilo ohm 1 kilo ohm this is the 5 volt now you can calculate the voltage at this point apply the kcl vx minus 5 this is the I1, let this is the I2. I am directly applying the case here. Vx minus 5 by 1 plus Vx minus of minus 8 volt. Vx minus of minus 8 volt divided by 1, that is equal to 0. 2 Vx 
माइनस फाइव प्लस एट इज इक्वल टू जीरो तो वॉट इज द वी एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री बाई टू माइनस वन पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट नाउ योर एजम्सन इज करेक्ट येस इट इज अ नेगेटिव वैल्यू एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस नेगेटिव वैल्यू दिस डायोड इज ऑफ तो वॉट इज द करेंट थ्रू द डायोड जीरो वॉट इज द करेंट थ्रू द डायोड दैट इज वॉट जीरो दैट क्वेश्चन इज फिनिस्ड तो इन दिस वे वी कैन सॉल्व इज देर इज एनी डाउट that is a very very conceptual question and that is the way to solve the previous year question always remember normally students are solving the previous year questions they are simply solving that but you have to assume other conditions if that let like, suppose we are changing the polarity of the battery then what will what will happen if i am changing the polarity of 8 volt or if i am changing the polarity of 5 volt battery then what will be the condition you have to verify all the four conditions in every previous year questions and you will get the no this is proved what is the second one this is off that is on we can change the polarity of this then what will happen what about these two diodes and so on in this way we can we can check this question okay okay then next one now what is the answer for this question very very simple one तो जरा भाई एक बार इट इज ऑलवेज इन दिस वीक यू आर गोइंग टू गेट द कमांड ओवर द डायोड सर्किट मीन रेक्टिफायर क्लीपर क्लैम्पर वोल्टेज डबलर प्रिसीजन रेक्टिफायर ओके दिज ऑल आर द डायोड सर्किट्स एंड दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर ग्रेट एग्जाम फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन ब्रांच राइट तो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आर चैनल शेयर द लिंक राइट आप अपने दोस्तों को शेयर कीजिए ताकि ज्यादा से ज्यादा स्टूडेंट इसे ज्वाइन करें देखो ज्ञान बांटने से बढ़ता है कोई कंपटीशन की बात नहीं है आइए आप साथ में बनाइए क्वेश्चंस एंड व्हाट शेयर द लिंक ऑफ दिस लाइक द सेशन ओके देन तो 5 वोल्ट आरएल इज इक्वल टू 4.7 किलो ओम इज गिवन 270 ओम 270 ओम गिवन हियर वोल्टेज दैट इज द डी वन एंड दैट इज द डी टू इफ वी वन एंड वी टू वी वन एंड वी टू बोथ आर जीरो सिलिकॉन डायोड इज टू बी यूज विद द आर एफ इज इक्वल टू थर्टी फाइव ओम आर एफ मीन्स दैट इज वॉट इंटरनल रजिस्टेंस ऑफ द डायोड इंटरनल रजिस्टेंस ऑफ द डायोड इज गिवन एज थर्टी फाइव ओम एंड वी वन ड्रॉप एक्रॉस द डायोड इज पॉइंट सिक्स वोल्ट ड्रॉप एक्रॉस द डायोड इज पॉइंट सिक्स वोल्ट द आउटपुट वोल्टेज वी नॉट ऑफ द सर्किट इज वॉट विल बी द आउटपुट वोल्टेज ओके how to solve this question how we can solve this question tell me this is a 270 ohm okay guys now if both are 00 volt and this is the 5 volt battery is connected here if the 5 volt battery is greater than the 0 volt 5 volt battery is greater than the 0 volt these two resistors are connected in parallel It's, uh, right these two resistors and diodes definitely that two diodes are forward bias when these two diodes are forward bias again convert the resistor in kilo ohm 0.27 kilo ohm this is what 0.27 kilo ohm now if both the diodes are on what is the drop across the diode 0.6 volt simple diagram simple diagram you can make that diode is replaced by 0.6 volt battery but what is the internal resistance of the diode 35 ohm the internal resistance is given as 35 ohm 35 ohm means we can say what 0.35 0.035 kilo ohm that is converted into kilo ohm this is the internal resistance of the diode diode is replaced by the battery and internal resistance and 270 ohm is connected here 0.27 0.27 is also connected this is is converted in kilo ohm and that is connected to ground watch this diagram v1 is 0 v2 is 0 i am making it ground 0.27 kilo ohm 0.27 kilo ohm 
डायोड इज रिप्लेस बाय द पॉइंट सिक्स वोल्ट बैटरी पॉइंट सिक्स वोल्ट बैटरी इंटरनल रजिस्टेंस इज गिवन एंड दैट इज द कनेक्टेड हियर दिस इज द फाइव वोल्ट एंड दिस इज फोर पॉइंट सेवन किलो एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द वी नॉट एट दिस पॉइंट वी हैव टू फाइंड द वी नॉट एट दिस पॉइंट गुड मॉर्निंग ओके तो बताइए वॉट इज द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन वेरी इजी तो डेली मॉर्निंग वी विल स्टार्ट विद वॉट वेरी कॉन्सेप्चुअल क्वेश्चन तो अर्ली मॉर्निंग हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर इंटरेस्टेड एट टू नाइन एंड इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड फॉर एच पी सी एल तो गणेश आए नमा चलिए मॉर्निंग में भगवान को याद कर लेना भी अच्छा ही है अब बताओ जरा तो देखिएगा जरा माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स अब आपने फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रिप्लेस द डायोड बाय व्हाट पॉइंट सिक्स वोल्ट एंड पॉइंट जीरो थ्री फाइव किलो डायरेक्टली अप्लाई द केसीएल केसीएल एट दिस पॉइंट वी नॉट माइनस फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय फोर पॉइंट सेवन प्लस वी नॉट माइनस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स वोल्ट Divided by these two registers are connected in series. So you can find the value zero point three. I think three zero five plus v not minus zero point six upon point three zero five is equal to zero. And then solve it, and you are going to get the v not. Very simple, right? And you will get the answer for this particular. Questions. I think I if I have the answer, then I can give you the answer. So please tell me what is the answer for this question. So that is the value of the V not. It will be very less. No problem. It is less than one volt. Okay. What is the answer? Please calculate it. okay so that is the way how we are going to solve the question okay you are in btech first year good electronics and telecommunication okay so i think the diode circuits in the i uh, it will start from the second year or third semester no problem but we have the basics of the diode in class 11th and class 12th class 11th and class 12th that is the basics of the diodes and then this is the d1 and d2 and that is the value and you will get the answer 0 0.738 0 0.738 now that is the simply remember in this question what is important this is called the characteristics of the diode basics of the diode means characteristics of the diode under ideal condition under ideal condition that will be the characteristics when reverse bias and when it is forward bias this is the current here on y axis current on x axis drop across the diode very simple when the diode is forward bias it act as what short circuit or when the diode is reverse bias it act as what open circuit what is the resistance here infinite and what is the resistance here zero Resistance zero means the what is the slope of this all the lines one by r. So if the resistance is zero, what is the slope infinite? And if the resistance is infinite, what will be the slope zero? And that's why this is a very straight line. The slope is what infinite, and the slope of this line is what zero. So here the voltage is reverse bias. For this line diode is what forward bias. Now, if we are assuming the practical condition, in previous question the characteristics of the diode is given. The drop across the diode is point seven volt. So that is the characteristics of the diode. This is the zero point seven volt. This is I. and that is the drop across the diode vd and that is the characteristics here from this point to this point and for this question always remember 
if the drop across the diode is less than 0.7 volt diode is off if the drop across the diode is greater than or equal to 0.7 volt the diode is what on because that is a practical diode so in this case greater than 0 less than 0 in this case greater than 0.7 volt now in third question in third question what was the characteristics of the diode watch this diagram carefully already we have solved the three questions in third question that is the case and this is the line means this is the 0 0.6 volt the drop across the diode this is the vd this is i and the slope of this is 1 by rf rf given in the question is 3, 35 ohm 35 ohm and what is the drop across the diode 0.6 volt that is in third question we have solved three questions ideal condition practical condition and then that is the in third question this is given 0.6 volt is the drop across the diode and register is 35 ohm means you can replace the diode always make a proper table if the drop across the diode is less than 0.6 volt then diode is off and it is replaced by open circuit but if the drop across the diode is greater than or equal to 0.6 volt diode is on and it is replaced by a battery and a register and what is the value of the battery 0.6 volt and always remember the drop across the diode is given from this point to this point this is called the drop across the diode vd because rf is the part of the diode right okay then so i think that is also clear now ready for next question second sem yes so get the command over this subject okay then so this is called different models for the diode this is called the different models for the diode this is the third one first second and third one replace and apply the concept of what network okay then sir right then tell me if the cut in voltage and forward resistance of each diodes are 0 0.7 volt and 1 volt again what is written here cut in voltage what is the meaning of the cut in voltage that is the cut in voltage this is nothing but cut in voltage v gamma 0 0.6 volt that is the cut in voltage in this question the cut in voltage what what 0 0.6 volt 0 0.6 volt normally it is represented by what v gamma and what is the total drop across the diode that is given by what vd okay this is the cut in voltage so what is written here 0 0.7 volt is the cut in voltage and 1 ohm respectively the current through the 48 ohm register 48 ohm register 8 volt is connected here this is the diode d1 that is the diode d2 that this is the diode d3 that this is the diode d4 8 volt battery is connected here right very very uh, you, uh, you can watch there are four diodes if there are four diodes then how many possibilities are here 2 to the power 4 16 possibilities means from 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 to up to what all 1 1 1 1 what is the meaning of this all the diodes of 0 means what off or 1 means what on all the diodes of d1 is on all other are off and finally all the diodes are what on monica yes 16 possibilities is it possible to check all the 16 possibilities is it possible it is not possible because we have no doubt if it is possible if we have enough time right but time limited time use the concept 8 volt battery is connected here this is connected to ground because this is the positive value because of this positive value that diode is on this diode is off now the current will flow like this if it is on always remember if it is on it will act as short circuit if it act as short circuit then what is the voltage at this point again 8 volt 
this is 8 volt this is 0 volt definitely this diode is what off now the what will be the current current will pass through this diode when the current will pass through this diode it means this diode is on when this diode is on it will act as short circuit what is the voltage at this point zero i i, I just i am assuming no doubt it is a practical diode but with ideal condition we can assume it okay no problem let this is zero it is the 8 volt battery it is very high battery because of this 8 volt and this is connected to negative terminal this diode is off from the figure we can say d1 is on because of 8 volt battery d2 is off again d3 is off and what about the d4 on these two diodes are on to replace it by what 0.7 volt battery and 1 ohm internal resistor very very simple okay then this is a 8 volt battery and then replace this diode by a resistor and a battery what is the 0.71 ohm this is the 48 ohm Point 0.7 and 1 ohm that is the diode this is also replaced and what about this open circuit because it is off it is off okay then this is the 48 and that is 8 volt now you can calculate the current like this current this is the current this is the current you can write the kvl so what is this minus 8 volt plus 1 plus 48 plus 1 1 plus 48 plus 1 into i minus plus 0 0.7 this is the positive value plus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.7 is equal to 0 i am simply applying what kvl kirchhoff's voltage law so what is the value of i you can say 8 minus 1.4 divided by what 50 ohm what is the current it is given in what ampere or milliampere so you can calculate which answer is correct tell me 8 minus use your virtual calculator that is divided by 50 ohm and it is 0 0.132 ampere why it is in ampere because register is in ohm and now convert it into milliampere. You are going to get this answer. Now tell me how many students that question is clear to you? One thirty-two. We have the sixteen possibilities, but no need to check all the possibilities. Sometimes first possibility is wrong. Then in a second approach, you are going to solve the question up to what first, second, or maximum third possibility. But if you have experience, then in first possibility, your assumptions will be correct. This diode is on. That diode is on. This diode is off. This diode is off. Directly, you are going to calculate the current, one thirty-two milliampere. Then that is the diagram. Now. What will be the answer for this question? We have the four figures here. We have the four figure. In the circuit shown below, the three signal of the figure are impressed on the input terminal. Right? Three figure. Different figures. This is visible to you everyone. This diagram is visible to you. Check this diagram. There are three figure. One is what uh, square wave. That is uh, another square wave. That is another a triangular wave. Let the is that is square wave. You can assume any one V1, V2, and V3. This is the V1, V2, and V3. One signal is connected here, one signal is connected here, one signal is connected here. These three registers are connected in parallel. And diodes are assumed to be ideal. And my dear friends, this is the zero level. There are three, one triangular, one this value, this is the value. What will be the output? Okay, and this is connected to positive terminal of the diode. And that is the zero level, that is the negative. Wow. 
विच आंसर इज करेक्ट ओके तो वॉट इज द बेसिक आइडिया अबाउट दिस क्वेश्चन नो डाउट इट फिगर इज गिवन एंड सो ऑन बट इट इज अ वेरी जनरल क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डायोड this diode that diode this diode one register is connected here this is connected to ground 10 kilo ohm register and three diodes are connected in parallel and there are three figures 1 2 3 and 4 four figures output then everyone try to give me the answer for this question watch uh, take the screenshot of this question and try to solve hmm now in this in this type of questions always remember we are using one concept if the three diodes are connected like this that register is given we are having the different voltages and this is the v not for example if i am giving the 3 volt if i am giving the 5 volt if i am giving the 10 volt what will be the output what will be the output again because these all are what greater than 0 volt it is connected to 0 volt to so 3 is greater than 0 5 is greater than 0 10 is greater than 0 to so always con consider which battery is the highest battery the highest value of the battery is 10 volt because of this 10 volt definitely d3 will be on always remember that is we are using the simple concept highest battery is 10 volt and definitely the d3 is what on if the d3 once the d3 is on it will act as short circuit now tell me what will be the v not if it is the 10 volt battery then output will be 10 volt okay no problem once the output is 10 volt then what about the next two diodes now you can check at this point it is the 10 volt at this point it is the 5 volt for diode d2 positive terminal voltage is less than negative terminal voltage and that's why this is off what about the d1 if this is the d1 this is the 3 volt battery the positive terminal voltage is less than the negative terminal voltage and that's why d1 is also off so both are off only one diode is on so what will be the current through this diode zero what will be the current through this diode zero and now you can calculate the current here directly and this is the value of the i3 is nothing but 10 divided by r 10 minus 0 divided by r directly you can calculate it very simple means in this case what will be the output the highest value among what v1 v2 and v3 which one is the highest that will be the output okay that is a very simple concept so tell me if there are three inputs if there are three inputs then always check now i will draw a diagram there are the three inputs like this this is a zero level what is the input here first of all we can use the different colors also it is a triangular wave let this is the triangular wave first wave form second wave form watch this it is a square wave watch this it is a square wave but be careful that is the case okay 
and the third one is a pulse simple a pulse and where that is given like this okay now if the signal is less than 0 if all the signals are less than 0 the diode is off what will be the output 0 very simple all for the timing this is a timing diagram actually this is a timing diagram means on the same time scale we have to draw then like this is the time after this time all the inputs are 0 if all the inputs are 0 or less than 0 and that's why the output will be 0 so after this output will be 0 now my dear friends up to this point up to this point try to understand the black one is high the black input is high after that triangular is high and after that this is the square pulse is high after this up to this point and then again triangular is high and then my dear friend square is high so what about the, there are three inputs let i am saying that i want to say that this is the first input this is the second one and that is the third one first case first is high and that's why what will be the output just replica of the first second replica of the triangle this is the replica of the triangle third replica of this okay up to this point again replica of the triangle up, up to this point again replica of the one and it will become zero here why because it is greater than the triangular that's why it is a this one and after that permanently it is zero that will be the output that is the output very simple right what is the question first v2 higher and v3 higher final v1 yes that is the right one so that is the which answer is correct this one this is the shape of the triangular shape and that is the then then and then this is not the correct one this is we are having the negative value here negative is not possible negative not possible in this there is no negative but effect of triangular wave is not there and that's why it is not correct one b is the correct one so sometimes we are getting the questions on what figure no doubt it is a very easy question but if it is a complicated question then always draw the neat and clean figure otherwise you are going to get the wrong answer so normally on clipper we have to make the transfer function clipper clamper we have to make the proper diagram transfer function so that is the requirement of the clipper and clamper so uh, in next section ne uh, in next session we are going to discuss what application of the diode clipper clamper precision rectifier voltage doubler so we have to use all these concept okay guys so this is the concept now we are having some questions for your assignments to try to solve this question and in next class i will give you the idea about this question first question and very simple rectifier very simple rectifier we are connecting the diode here we are connecting the two in this circuit there are two diodes so tell me it is a half wave rectifier or full wave rectifier we are having the different types of rectifier half wave rectifier full wave rectifier right tell me in the comments box give me the answer for this question tomorrow i am going to solve this question that is the assignment number one okay so this is diode is connected that diode is connected r1 is connected and we are giving the input here and that is what will be the output okay now because now we are having what msq multiple select questions and that's why we can expect what more conceptual questions more conceptual questions so what is this circuit everyone tell me what is the answer for this question 
हाफ वेयर एक्टिफायर और फुल वेयर एक्टिफायर यू हैव एनी आइडिया अबाउट दैट यस टुमोरो आई विल डिस्कस द स्टैंडर्ड सर्किट फॉर हाफ वेयर एक्टिफायर इज दिस वन That is the standard circuit for half wave rectifier. But in this diagram, if we are having the two diodes connected in series, two diodes connected in series, but there is no center tap. The transformer is connected here. The full wave rectifier is like this. No doubt, in a full wave rectifier, we are having the two diodes. But what about the polarity of the diode? Like this, we are connecting a resistor here. and this is called the full wave rectifier but in full wave rectifier we are using the center tap the transformer there are two diodes but my dear friend there is no center tap the transformer and watch the polarity of the diode watch the polarity of the diode again it is a half wave rectifier right it is also a half wave rectifier it is also a half wave rectifier now no doubt you are able to solve the question but what is the advantage of this circuit what is the advantage of this circuit this circuit over this circuit why we are connecting the two diodes in same series this is the standard circuit of half wave rectifier this is also a half wave rectifier so what is the difference between these two circuit are you want to get this type of uh, answer and conceptual question because it is a msq there may be the question what is the advantage no doubt find this question and what are the advantage of this circuit over that circuit so that is again so first of all try to solve the question and then in next class i will give you the idea what is the piv peak inverse voltage and each and everything what is the power what is the power dissipation what will be the current what is the practical problem advantages disadvantages is each and everything tomorrow at 8 am then try to solve this question assignment number 2 and give me the answer in comments box right this time i will take the screenshot of that because number of students are regular now i will take the screenshot of your comments and in next class i will share okay arvind to rajendra and everyone try to give sri ganeshaya nama to aap zarur answer dijiye try to give me the answer on the comments box i will take the screenshot of that i will discuss it doesn't matter whether the answer is right or wrong it is not the problem you have to solve this just try to solve all these questions this is the question that is the diagram and this is a another assignment uh you can join my telegram channel that is what electronics by sanjay rathi please everyone join my telegram channel so that you will get the notification and the pdf of this class you want i just i, I will share my link what read this question carefully read this question carefully okay that is my telegram channel you can join this so that pdf will be available to you okay and this is the msq 5 kilo ohm resistor is connected here 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected here diode d1 diode d2 10 kilo ohm 5 kilo ohm and consider the following diode circuit having the cut in voltage of 0.7 voltage what is the internal resistance of the diode if the internal resistor is not given in any question simply make it zero rf if if rf is not given in the question take it zero and then simply what is the drop across the diode 0.7 volt then diode is replaced by 0.7 volt battery if it is forward bias so check this which diode is on which diode is off 15 volt battery is connected here 5 kilo ohm 10 kilo ohm 10 kilo ohm 5 kilo ohm resistor is here we have to calculate the id2 current here this is a very 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 important question very very important question okay then so hope so you enjoy the session three assignments it will take around 15 minutes to solve 10 to 15 minutes only to solve these three assignments again tomorrow at the same time 8 to 9 pm rectifiers 
we are going to discuss all type of rectifiers half wave rectifier full wave rectifier bridge rectifier advantages disadvantages each and everything about the rectifiers with the important numericals this is a series concept with the numericals right and at 11 am today itself i am going to discuss what hp for hpcl 2022 transients transient and steady state from the network because the network is again very important subject okay then thank you for attending the session you are on byju's exam prep like the session subscribe our channel and share the link of this session thank you and good day